Hello and welcome back dear friends, it's me Odo. We are back in our campaign of Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. Um, uh, in between episodes I did, as I said, I um, I talked to all the people that I talked before. And now I'm back on the main square again. And here is some here was some room. And there is this uh, frog. This is the uh, demon that I let loose by doing the <clears throat> the by redrawing <laughs> the lines in this one building. Oh. The level nine outsider. I mean, it's nearly impossible for me to destroy him. He has spell resistance of twenty, so we can't do any spells on him anyway. Um, he has a damage reduction of ten, except good. So, um. Of Every hit I'll take, he takes 10 points less damage. He's level 9, so he has about 100 hit points. At least, I'm pretty sure he has more. Um, and <laughs> he also has an energy resistance of 10 to acid, cold, and fire, plus an immunity to electricity. Um, so there is no magic that can kill him or harm him in any way. Um, I thought of doing, uh, like, uh, uh, what's it called? Of, um, doing a grease, hoping that he, uh, doesn't, uh, that he does fail the save and lands on his back and we can coup de gras him. But the problem is, um, he's immune to prone, so we can't we can't um, kill him in this way. This would be a very elegant way <laughs> of doing it. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how to kill him, or even if we can kill him. Um, I have this this thing, the Midnight Bolt, which can deal 50 points of damage that can't be ignored and reduced. Um, I think this is the only reasonable way to, to kill him. The only way we have to kill him um, and even that, I, I'm i not sure if it's enough. Because I think 50 hit points will be about half of his hit points. So we need to... Ah, yeah, you can see I've got Sealer with me again. Um, she's healed, and we let Camellia stay back home, because she has some conditions like an illness, this is the uh, con damage and dexterity damage. She um, got her first DC, her first fortitude save done. She needs a second and then she is rid of the ghoul fever. Until then, she is not in any kind harmed by this ghoul fever right now. Although if she fails the constitution, uh, the the fortitude, uh, the fortitude save tomorrow, uh, she will get constitution damage and dexterity damage again. We need some cure disease stuff, probably. Okay, I also lost a lot of my spells, although it doesn't matter anyway because we can't can't arm him with spells anyway um 
because uh, uh, or I came here I I I I met a lot of uh, of red worms which we needed to kill by fire so we lost a lot of our spells in that yeah, the ear piercing scream could work on him but it has a spell resistance so she has to come over his spell resistance of which means she would have to roll like a 15 on a d20 or 16 don't know how much it is um to overcome his his spell resistance or else we won't hit him and even if we hit him the ear piercing scream does uh how much damage 1d6 damage but to cast the level 2d6 damage it's not that bad not, not that much i think the best way would be these two because they do a lot of damage he so does a lot of damage can. because of her smite evil and he does a lot of damage if he flanks he can do precision damage or sneak damage so these two would be okay um we would would need them but um then the pig would have to sacrifice itself i mean it's the work of the pig anyway so Let's see, he's full. What's that? Potion of Shield of Faith. We should give him the Shield of Faith at least. Not a large person. We could give a large person to her. Yep. Would be better. So she does more damage. And protection from chaos. I will try it once. If it doesn't work, um, we will not attack him and find some other way to uh, get rid of him later on. No, uh, where is the wolf? It was retreat person. I think we could take the reduce person on the pig because this gives us the plus one on the um, uh, plus one size bonus on the armor class. And if we do a mage armor on him. Mage armor and field of shield of faith plus reduced person plus this and because this is deflection. Ah, uh, does the shield of faith? What does the shield of faith do? Also deflection bonus. Eh, that's too bad. So it doesn't give you more than plus two. It doesn't help. Probably better to do this because we know that this guy is chaotic. How long does this work? One minute per level, also one minute. One minute, one minute. Okay. So, first of all, do this on the pig. I will help where I can. Wait with that. Something wrong. You do the mage armor on yourself. You can you buff the group? Ah, oh, you can use the snowball on him. This one has no spell resistance, but you will have to hit him. Oh. What's that? Mm. 
Evolutionary status. Oh. Yeah. She can do the mage armor on the pig. Faith on the pig. No. We don't need a shield of faith, we said. We can do the shield of faith on him because he doesn't get the shield as well. And you, my dear friend, what's that? What's this? Protect evil. Yeah, if he, if he comes to you, then we have a problem anyway, so you won't take this. Yeah, let's do it first. So, shield of faith. Um Ask nicely. You'll drink this Ick. you'll drink this you do a aspect of falcon and I think that's it. Yeah, probably. I mean, we could give more mage armors out, but yeah. Okay, now this pig. You do this. Hey, pig. Can you just... Really? Can you just drink this? No, you can't? <gasps> really? In large per... This is not possible of you. You can't be reduced? Okay. Let's look at your AC. 29. Hmm. With the reduced... He would be at 30. 29 must work. Move there. Let's just start. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. And you. Here. And you move there. Yet another obstacle. Okay. So we did fifty points of damage, did we? No. Was it you who summoned me? Allow me to repay you. Rock spots for Jeff. Yeah, of course. Stupid rock. But we are before him. Okay, let's try an ear piercing screen. Why not? I mean. And he. We failed to overcome the. He's still... He's still flat foot. That's great. Uh, 
I should have waited with him, with Volchif after the pig, so he will attack the pig. Is this this? Did I... Yeah, it's 50 points of damage. Okay, so he's down to half his hit points. That's nice. So, can she run f forward? Can... A stunning speed. Interesting. Okay, let's try the snowball. Because he the one spell we can do damage reduction. Ah, oh, he has a uh, yeah, of course. I know, I knew that. Of course I knew that. Okay, let's move forward. I totally forgot about my special ability. Like, let's do this. Okay, she has one spell that gets through. This is this one, the Divine Sap, but we will do only one point of damage. Mm. Yay, we did one point of damage. We only need 50 more rounds like that. That's not good. The pig can attack him, but the pig is the only one that won't do any damage, as I said. Can we just hit another of these? And I mean, I can use the precise strike if I activate. Wait, that's me. You must declare that you are using this feat before you make your attack roll. So we roll twice and take the bigger, the bigger of the... You won't survive me. Mm -hmm. It's all your fault. Yes, I know. <sighs> okay, we should have let the, um, the... Yeah, let's try it with this one. Probably we'll overcome the... We overcame the spell resistance and did two points of damage, really? 1d4 plus 1. Wait, you have to do it for both magic missiles? Oh, come on. I mean, better than nothing, but... <laughs> really? Let's, Let's try this way. And zero points of damage because of the damage reduction. <laughs> I'm not sure how this should work. Philomukas, do your worst. Yeah. Come on. It's not possible. 
impossible to hit him. Probably. Okay, let's smite evil on him. And not hit him, of course. I mean, we could do the blinding ray, probably this would help. If we overcome the spell resistance of... And we could turn this... I really don't want to see his... Hmm, I mean, we could heal with her. Her or the pig. Her, she needs to make the damage. If she's dead, can't do any damage anymore. Because the pig doesn't do any damage, as you see. And he's not doing any damage as well. No, reduced to zero. Come on. Ah, oh, and the two. You just need a ten. Perfect. Okay, let's try this one. And we didn't overcome her thing. Yeah, the poor pig. Uh huh. This will hurt. No, because we don't hit. Okay, now you heal the pig. Ah, too bad. I hoped she could go away after hitting the, the thing. I mean, we have about two thirds of his hit points down. And this old Ocela didn't even hit once. Oh, come on, you just need to 10. <sighs> At least we are lucky that he doesn't roll an 18 or something. Um, yeah, try the blinding light again, blinding ray again. Okay. Or don't try it. Come on, hit him. Yay, zero points of damage. Okay, you do this last healing on the pig. And afterwards, go away. So you don't get any damage. The pig will hit him. And not make any damage. And then will not make any damage. I mean, he made 50 points of damage, so it's okay. I'll see. <sighs> Four times. This was the fourth time that we didn't hit him. 
Are you blinded now? Please tell me that you're blinded. Do we see the effect? He's dazzled. <gasps> wow, minus one penalty on attack rolls and perception checks. Wow, minus one. Hmm. It's harder for him to hit the peak now. <gasps> we did three points of damage. Yes. Come on. One point of damage. We will kill this demon. Okay. Come on, Cedar. You can do it. <laughs> A two. Really? Okay. Now we have to reload because we are killed. I mean, oh, five times she had a chance, and she had a 50% chance to hit. And in five times she didn't hit once. Okay. But we can kill him. I'm pretty sure about that now. If we roll a bit better, and if we... If we let the the pig start the fight with him it's possible hmm. but I won't show you this because this will take I don't know how many times probably I will stop for today um, next time uh, he will be dead or I will have tried it three or five, five times and wouldn't have done anything if he's dead, he's dead, and I will show you what we've got. If he's not dead, then uh, we will, um, yeah, we will be at the reload point, and yeah, that's that. Until then, see you. Bye.